Turning now to the monsoon, we've seen devastating, deadly flash floods this season with people young and old getting carried away by powerful currents. And it's certainly not the first time that fast moving water has caused tragedy. You might remember the uh, uh, Rawlings children who drowned in 2019 in the Tonto Basin. And one of those uh, searchers in that case talked with our David Caltabiano, who joins us live in the newsroom tonight. David. Spencer, good evening. Eric Neitzel is a former firefighter helping search for Willow Rawlings for days using a drone. Tonight, he told me the challenges crews face with search and rescues, as well as revisiting tragedy in the White Mountains. A November nightmare at the Tonto Basin. Three children swept away in a flash flood in 2019. Officials say Daniel and Lacey Rawlings drove past the barricade and tried to cross the raging waters. The bodies of Colby and Austin Rawlings were found, but days, then weeks went by with no sign of a third child, six-year-old Willa. That's when former firefighter Eric Neitzel stepped in with his drone. I flew for probably a good week and a half, two weeks, pretty much nonstop cycling through drones. I was there till the end, would tell when they found her. Eric says it was physically and emotionally draining. A strenuous search met with challenges. Coordinating with other people is an, was one of the big challenges. Just the unknown, where where is this person at? And stormy weather. While he flew up high, he knows ground crews were dealing with rough terrain, an issue seen in Cottonwood, where searchers are trying to find 16-year-old Faith Moore, who was swept away over the weekend. All the roads are washed away, and so access, access to get boats in and out, access to get people in and out is really difficult. The Eyes in the Sky says he's learned from those challenges during the long search that ended in heartbreak but he's still holding out hope for the teenager in northern Arizona. There's always hope, and that's what you cling to. And you might remember Daniel and Lacey, the parents of the two children found dead in Tonto Basin, were charged for the three deaths and pleaded not guilty. Spencer. All right, now, David, does uh, the drone operator, Eric, does he have any plans then to help out with that search for Faith Moore? Well, right now he hasn't been asked to help out, but he says he is available if he's needed. He told me he cut his vacation short to help out with any storm damage or rescues with monsoon season in full swing.